Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Oblivion. So before we begin this episode, I just want to say that the lighting may seem different or it may shift because I'm trying out using natural sunlight because there is a window right in front of me for my lighting to record today. I think it looks pretty nice, gotta say. The only thing is it's 100 degrees out, the sun's beaming directly down on me. I'm gonna die! But yes, this is part of my quest to try to find a good time to record. So who knows if we'll be keeping it, I don't know. But yeah, rambling aside, in the last episode we finally completed the Allies for Bruma quest. It is about time. And now I think Martin wants us to go to some like alien ruin, but at the end of last episode we went to skin grid so that I could sell some stuff and we came across one of my favorite NPCs, Little Glarthier, who told us that he wanted to meet with us behind some chapel around midnight. Little sketchy, but after the Allies for Bruma quest, I think we could all use a refresher of one of the goofy little quests that Oblivion has to offer. One of the very many. So yeah, we will be doing that today. I don't know if we'll be getting to the alien ruin that'll probably be waiting till next episode, but let's just go ahead and get back into it. Okay, so as you can tell, it is nowhere near midnight, so we are going to be needing to wait. I will just go ahead and set that as my active quest, which as you can tell, is called Paranoia. So yeah, this is an interesting one, let me tell you. But you know, Bosmer boys gotta stick together. Corellian's curious. He wants to know what this is all about. So here's the chapel. We will just go stand for many, many hours behind it. Not looking suspicious at all, I promise. Yeah, it's uh, only 10 a.m. So we've got a, quite a bit of waiting to do, but it's fine. At least it goes by fast. All right, now Glarthier, there he is. Okay, friend. Hello. Ah, That's you came. Great lighting. You're sure you weren't followed? Good. I thought I could trust you. Nobody else in town. They're all in on it. All watching me. Okay. Well, yes. I need you to do something for me. I'll pay you gold. You like gold, suspicious. don't you? Lots of gold. Here's my problem. I'm being followed. Watched. Marukati selectives, maybe. Not sure. I'm a threat, you see, to their plans. I know too much. Mm -hmm. I need you to check out some people for me. The ones who are following me. Watch them. See where they go. Who they report to. Will you help me? <laughs> oh, goodness. Can I just say real quick? I cannot talk to Glarthier without hearing the Glarthier song. And if you haven't heard that, what have you even been doing, like, honestly? I've been listening to that, like, every day since middle school. <laughs> but yes, we will help you, Glarthier. Very good. You won't be sorry. I'll pay you well. Did I say that already? Let's start with Bernadette Penniless. Be outside my house at 6 a.m. You'll see her watching me. See okay. where she goes and who she reports to. We'll meet here again tomorrow night. Oh, and never contact me in public. Never. They're watching. <laughs> they can't know you're helping me. <sighs> what have we gotten ourselves into? Okay, well, fine. We'll do that. Sure. You know, one thing we should probably do is actually use our torches during the night time so that we can actually see what we're looking at. That would help. But let's go find Glarthir's house. Okay, that's Bernadette's house. So, yeah, that's Glarthir's house. Let's just wait right here. We'll go ahead and put our torch up. Not suspicious at all. I'm so excited for this. It's been so long. Okay, let's see. 6 a.m., anything happening? <gasps> there she is. Okay, she's walking by. Uh-huh. Definitely not looking at Glarthier's house. Hmm. Oh, but there's Glarthier. <gasps> But nothing happened, okay. Are you just going to the chapel, my friend? Looks like she's just going to the chapel. Okay, well, let's just follow her around some more, shall we? Where'd she go? Wait, did I? Oh, she's in here. I see. Good Why morning. is it so dark in here, you freaks? She Wait, oh, that's not burnt down. <laughs> Where am I? Ah, uh, the, the joy of EMBs. Okay, somehow she got lost in the void. <laughs> That is loading screens. Oh wait, no, she's right here. Okay, uh, Please. you know, let's, let's, let's talk to I'm her. I'm Bernadette Penelis. I work for Tamika. I grow grapes for her wines. Congratulations. Just tell me your whole life story this time. 
Okay, this may be a little bit suspicious, but we're going to ask her about Glarth here. Well, I know he's a bit odd, but I've always thought he was kind of sweet. Lately, though, he has been stranger than usual. Mm-hmm. I think maybe he's been following me. I see him every morning on my way to chapel. I've tried to say hello, but he always pretends not to hear me. That's suspicious. Okay. Even she looks pretty weirded out. But okay, as far as we can tell, nothing really going on here. So, I guess we'll just go back and wait for Glarth here again. Just all day. Corellian has a very exciting life, as Morning. you can tell. Though, honestly, he probably enjoys just sitting around for hours at a time after all of those oblivion gates he's had to deal with. But okay, let's wait. Hello, Glarth here. Let's get out our little torch so we can see our beautiful... Uh, so, you saw Bernadette Penance, face. did you? She was watching me and following me, wasn't she? <sighs> okay. So there are at least two different outcomes to this quest that I can remember. There may be more. And I actually can't decide what I want to do now. I'm trying to think of what Corellian would do. Because Corellian is pretty money-based. Like, he wants to be able to make money. Like, obviously he's going to be in the Dark Brotherhood and Thieves Guild and whatnot. So he can't be that good. Pretty neutral. So I'm trying to think if we should just, like, go along with Glarthir's plans and take the money. And you know, Glarthir is one of my favorite characters, so... You know, just because I find like this is a little bit more amusing. You were right. She is following you. Just as I thought. Just as I thought. Because we get to Excellent hear him sing, work. obviously. There will be a bonus in this for that. you. Don't worry. <laughs> what about the reward you promised? Ah, of course. The gold. Excellent. Cheer. <laughs> But there is someone else. One step closer to owning Venerous Manor. We'll get there someday. What else do you want me to do? Tortius Sextius. That's an interesting him? name, I a gotta quiet say. Fellow. Appears harmless enough, mm -hmm. but I've identified him as one of my key suspects. He's a clever one, no doubt about it. Eyes in the back of his head. Always seems to know when I'm watching. Goodness, this is but just a mess. A mess of a quest. Why have I done coming. this to us? <laughs> you should wait outside his house and see what he does when he's not watching me. I'll meet you here tomorrow night to get your report. And he just talks so weird. Like, I showed Ryder the Glarthir song a while back before he actually even knew who Glarthir was. And then when he heard Glarthir actually talk for the first time, he's like, oh my god, he actually does sing. It wasn't just the video. But okay, we will go find Don't this Sextius catch you that guy <laughs> he's with the most interesting name. Okay. A little oh. bird told me that you've been asking around town about Glarthir, uh -oh. a resident eccentric. I'd like to know why. Oh, no reason, Mr. Potato Man. Um, ooh, what, what should I say? I'm just curious about him. Fine. Play it that way. Let me give you some friendly advice. Glarther is crazy. Maybe harmless crazy. Maybe not. Hmm. Don't get involved with him. That, if he uh, asks too late you for to that. do anything <laughs> strange, you come see me first. Got it? Or any of the town guard. Let us handle it. Okay. But you know what we're not going to do? Because apparently Corellian makes some very dodgy decisions. We're not gonna tell the guards. They don't need to know. That's boring. Why would I let it play out that way? When this way is so much more interesting. Wait, what time are we supposed to wait till? Is it 6 a.m. again? Yeah, this morning. So I, I assume around 6. So we'll wait 6 more hours. And see what Mr. Tutius is up to. Um... Maybe I shouldn't hold a torch now. Or, yeah, I'll just leave it up. It's fine. Oh, I can go in his house. <gasps> That's some next level stuff. Maybe a little bit suspicious, but like this whole scenario isn't just a mess anyways. Are you Tutius? What is it? Hello, Tutius. Okay. You're new here. Or you'd know me. A little fool of yourself. Tutius Sextius. My people have lived in Skingrad since the dawn. Father and the Count. Your father was a cruel man friends. to name you that. I'm sorry. Hey, what do you know about Glarthir? I'm sorry, but I don't think I know any Glarthir. Oh. oh. Wait. Do you mean that strange wood elf that you see <laughs> wandering around the city? Yes, I've seen him, but never spoken to him. He seems to be at the low gate every morning when I pass by on my way to the castle. Mm hmm. Gives me the strangest looks now that you mention it. Almost like he hates me, although. I have no idea why. Oh, uh, we're doing such the wrong thing. But okay. Wait. Oh, I see another interesting character. Oh, come back. Come back. We need to talk to you. 
going into that suspicious Allow alleyway. Allow me to extend my congratulations on your daring this victory woman. over the evil forces of oblivion. A living meme, this I one. Just at a your living s- meme. Okay. You know, first we'll just ask some rumors. Mog Gromogach runs a fine establishment. Yeah, okay. And what about Glarthir? Know anything Don't about him? I don't mean to gossip, but he's more than a bit strange. You can't really However, talk. However, <laughs> he's always been tolerated as the town eccentric. Uh huh. Now tell me about Skingrid. I'm the only alchemist in Skingrad. Not much business here, but I can't go back to Morrowind. It's just like anywhere else in the Empire. By the way, do you happen to know what the fine is here in Cyrodiil for necrophilia? Just asking. Oh, oh, Falano. Is it the first offense? Let's assume... no. Ah, then it's at least 500 gold. That's nothing compared to Morrowind, thanks. Falanu, you're a mess. Oh, this town is so weird. Like, you walk in, you're like, oh, what a nice and beautiful place. No, no. It's interesting with Glarthir and it's Falanu. Even the Count is kind of weird just because he's a vampire. Is that being mean towards vampires? I don't know. But okay, let's wait again. And here he is, the legend. All right. Tell me what you learned about Tutius Sextius. Why am I so much taller than you now? I guess I'm on a hill or something? I don't know. I'm used to being... Very small. Tutius Sextius is spying on you. So, I was right all along. You're doing. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Work, I friend. don't know, but I I just feel compelled. It's important. What about the reward you promised? Here you go, my friend. <laughs> Trust me, you've earned it. There is one last person that needs looking into, though. Mm-hmm. What else do you want me to do? Do you know David Surly? Yes, of the famous Surly Vineyards, pillar of the community, etc. Who would ever suspect him? He's so, like, full of himself now and proud. Perfect cover for the ringleader of the whole conspiracy! He watches my house constantly. You'll see. He leaves his house early each morning. Watch him and report back to me here. At midnight, as usual. Whatever Make sure you he say, doesn't my notice weird, you. Weird, weird little friend. Okay, well. Be careful. David Surly is the ring. I'm sure he is. That- now, where does this guy live? Looks like pretty close by. Over here. Thinking here. Yeah. All right. Well, let's wait until six of him again. Hello. You coming out, or do I need to go in there? I don't know. I don't know. I'll wait another hour. Oh, he's left his house now. I guess he's somewhere over here. Where is he at? Oh, I got stuck. Oh, dang it. Is he up on the bridge? Ah, wait, wait. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Hello. Um, I'm David of Surely Brothers Vineyard. that lighting is very Gaston ominous. Is my brother. You do look like From a scary vineyards man. From the finest wines in Tamriel. Mm-hmm. Finer than Tamika? Yeah, well, in all honesty, no. <laughs> But our wines are very good. At least good, he's honest. And much cheaper than Tamika's very fine product, I assure you. Okay, well, tell me about Glarthir. You may have heard that he's a bit touched in the head, and that may be true. But he's always been a quiet neighbor, never given us any trouble. <sighs> not not for much longer, my friend. Yeah, well. Not for much longer, I'm so sorry. But all right, let's just go back to the chapel. Morning. Can you spare a coin? Hello there. <laughs> That was a enlightening conversation. Ah, there's Glarthy already. Let's let's try to talk to him. Let's see. I told you not to speak to me in public. He's a little offended. We'll meet tonight. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, sorry, I have no idea what time it is. What a mess. What a mess. Okay, let's just wait till midnight again. Oh, why why are you walking that way? Come back over here, my friend. My friend, come here. It's midnight, is it not? I told you oh. not to speak to me in public. <laughs> what an angle! Uh, Wait, what time is it? Oh, well, oops. It's midnight. What's going on? Glarthir, come on. Come over here. Maybe I need to wait another hour. Are you glitching out, my friend? Come talk to me, please. Wait, there he is. Okay. This is not so, midnight. It's what did you discover about the upstanding David Surly? You were right. He's spying on you. And so it all falls into place. Yes, yes, it all makes sense now. Here, <laughs> this is your last task. Uh huh. 
What about the reward you promised? Here's the gold, as promised. I always pay my debts and then some. Do the last task in that note, and I will pay you much, much more. Okay, well, let's take a look at the note then. How much money have we made, by the way? Oh, well, not that much, but we're almost in 2000. Or the 2000s. Like I said, I think Benarus Manor is 5000, but I'll have to make sure. Now, let's find that note. Where is it? A list of death. Okay. These people must be killed. There is no choice. They are definitely conspiring against me. Bernadette Penelis, Tutius Sextius, David Cirilli, the ringleader. Kill him first. Come back and see me. Make sure you are not followed. Once it is done, and I will give you your reward, Clarthia. <sighs> okay. I just want to make a quick disclaimer here. I don't know if Corellian actually does this, but. We gotta get to the Dark Brotherhood at some point anyway, so what's the harm in doing a couple of murders? Hopefully, uh, it doesn't make our infamy go up too much or else I'm pretty sure it makes it harder to get into the Fighter's Guild. <laughs> but you know, we're gonna try it and it's gonna go terribly because Corellian is not sneaky at all. So, we're going to have to somehow assassinate them without getting a bounty. Because if I get a bounty, we're definitely reloading. Yeah, I, like I said, I don't know if Corellian does this. I just, I feel like doing it today. I don't know. I'm feeling all assassin -y. I can't wait to do the Dark Brotherhood on here because it is definitely my favorite. Okay, we've got to pick a lock, which is great. And literally every time I move, something detects me. So, maybe we should just take off the armor. Okay, we can put on that. We're we're not wearing pants, you see, but like, we'll put the detect life ring on too. But you know, this whole quest is crazy anyway, so we might as well go around looking the part, right? Okay, now let's see if I can actually pick this lock. I used to be really good at this, but that was also with controller. Yeah. Oh no, that's a lie. I used to be good at it with the mouse too. But, oh, okay, okay. <sighs> I did just quick save, so if I need to reload to get my lock picks back, I can. Okay, it's too intense now. Uh, okay, mm. Oh, I'm scared now. There we go. Okay, got in. I got in. <sighs> now this is the scary part. Okay, are they asleep? I think so. Oh, I don't know. Why did it just go away? I don't like that. They might not be asleep. Mm. I don't really know how to navigate around here. Is there a staircase? Yes. Oh, my sneak skills increasing. I don't like that. I'm gonna quick save often. Might regret it, but it's it's fine. Okay. Um. I think he's somewhere back here. Maybe I should be walking. That might help. That's that's not right. Oh no! Now I have to get back in. Ah, oh, I did it without reading. <laughs> what a fool I am. Uh oh. At least we're leveling our security, right? Okay. Okay. You know what? <laughs> I just quick saved in there. It's fine. There. Never happened. Never happened. Now. I guess they're in here then. God, I'm so nervous. We've never really had to do any sneaking before, but... Oh, they're not in here. Where are they? Why is this blackberry floating? Did y'all see that? This, this place is crazy. Oh, there's another staircase right there. Okay. But yeah, we, we need to level our sneak. It's fine. Okay, now, why is our... Why is that not working? Put that back on. Is it just not very far? Oh, okay, okay. Well, I'm pretty sure, yeah, they're both in here. So, why do you have to lock your room when you sleep, you weirdo? There. Okay, now I'm scared. I've never, never assassinated before. I'm a big two-handed guy. This is most unnatural. I think I might need to learn archery or something, too. But let's just... What's going on? Oh, no, he noticed! Oh, please don't wake up your brother. We, we have a bounty, don't we? What? Sorry, friend. It looks like you... <laughs> you oh, wandered no. into a restricted area. Yeah, I'm sure I did. Did you I get a bounty? Did oh, You would think he'd be more offended by the fact I just killed his brother than me being somewhere I'm not supposed to. Okay, I have a 40 bounty. Leave. Now. Alright, well, I guess I need to freaking reload. Figures. Okay, well, that's not going to work. Oh, I don't know what to do about this. We may just have to turn him in just because Corellian's not really able to assassinate at the moment. I don't know what 
<laughs> Why did he get- he was just so nice, but I had just killed his brother. Like, come on. Oh my god. <laughs> Why do I suck at this so much now? I'm so sad. Yeah, see, like, I feel like this is just going to have the same effect, right? Let's try to hit him in the head. Hey, come on, no. Okay, get him before his brother wakes up. Maybe that'll be better. Did it- did it work? He's gonna- he's gonna get annoyed at us again. Hi. Oh, it looks wait. like you- Oh, there's already Stop a guard! Right there, criminal scum! <laughs> Nobody no! breaks the law in my way! Dang it! Ah, uh, just- just end me. Swap. <laughs> Maybe if I charged up my weapon or something. No, because I think it just disintegrates armor, doesn't it? <sighs> Am I actually going to take down this guard? I thought he was gonna like instantly murder me. And the the brother just doesn't even know what to do. He's just glitching out. Oh, now he's invisible. Great. Wasn't it really expecting to go on a killing spree today, but here we are. That's how it just has to go sometimes. The Dark Brotherhood is going to be fun on this character. Corellian was definitely optimized for it. This guy's just punching me. Well, good for you. You you should probably run. Probably run, my friend. I don't know why I did that, but I did. Well, I think we might have to take the other route. I didn't want to, but mm, I'll try to use a spell on him this time. I don't think that's going to go any better, Corellian, your stupid outfit. Ugh. Yeah, don't feel like this is going to go any better, but let's see. By the nine divines of Cause I think our assault still got reported no matter what. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, it did. Okay. Get out of here. How do the guards the guards know what we're up to? It's all over, Lord. They know. Uh Okay. Yeah, my friends. I was gonna do it, but Carleen's not really an assassin. So I'm sorry, Glarth here. We got your money, and now we're just gonna have to report you to a guard. I didn't want to because I know how this turns out for Glarth here, and I like seeing Glarth here around, but. A pleasure to speak with you. We're gonna have to report it to a guard. You have something you want to tell me about that nutcase? Sadly, yes. He needs to be arrested. Why? What's he done? I don't want to. Just, but just show him the note. Damn. He's finally gone completely bonkers. <laughs> I mean, I know tip. it's the right thing to do. Now stand aside do. and let the guard do their work. I know. I just... I just... I don't want to. Oh, I feel so bad. Oh, I don't run fast enough. Wait, I want to see this. No! Come back! Come back! Why are you so fast? Oh, you would go around. I could have just gone behind there, huh? Okay, at least he's kind of waiting on me. I at least want to see this. So sorry, Clark. You're so sorry. I, I, yeah, it's the right thing to do. This is probably what Corellian would have done. Oh, he's just killing him! Yeah. Uh, you'll never take me down. Well, good on Glarth here for just trying to punch it. Good on you, Glarth. What if Glarth here actually wins? Where are y'all going? Why are you? What? That's not. Okay, that's a great and intelligent guard right there. I'm so sorry, Glarthir. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Probably needed to be done, though. Oof. Oh, he's got an arrow through his arm. No! No. We're here to help. Reward? Sad story. But at least we stopped him in time, thanks to you. Meh. Hmm. Does he have the money? He had his house key. We can go loot his house. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. What are you doing? Weirdo. Well, can I can I just go in here then? I don't know if it's a criminal deed, but I want my money. Oh, there are books everywhere in here. Are, are any of them spell books or skill books? That's the word. Hi. I don't know. I do not know. Don't really have the time to go through them all. Is there like some sort of chest? Oh, here we go. Six gold. Perfect. Perfect. Gosh, what a mess, Glarth here. Ten more gold? Okay, okay. This all does count as stealing, which I don't necessarily like, but it's fine. There's so many chests. Oh, this one's locked. Great. Well, we had to waste our lock things somehow, didn't we? There. Please just be kind. Oh, there we go. Oh, weapons. Great, yeah. It needed to be done, my friends. It truly did, or it just would have kept happening. I just wanted to be able to talk to Mr. Lucian. But we're not we're not gonna be doing the Brotherhood for a while, I'm pretty sure. 
At least a couple more storylines in between, I think. Okay, well, we didn't get the huge bonus, but whatever, it's fine. Ooh, I wonder what's in Glorthir's basement. That- Oh, it opens with this key. Okay, this should be interesting. Maybe it's just a completely normal basement. Oh, there's a bunch of notes. Proof against Tutius Sextius at last. I chose my helper well. Oh, I don't know why I'm going like, oh, he's- he's a criminal. He just asked me to kill people. But I usually always play as the assassin sort in Oblivion. So Corellian's a little bit different for me, so that that is why. Bernadette Penelis is guilty. Sure. Found someone to help me today that you did. Current thoughts on the conspiracy. Murakati selectives? Most likely. Ruthless and secretive. I have undoubtedly earned their enmity by my vigilance numerous times. The Blades. Supposedly the guardians of the Empire. Question. Do they know that I know their dark secret? Everything hinges on that. Oh, okay, okay. Interesting that he came up to someone in Blade's armor then. Mythic Dawn! Need to learn more about them. Obscure hints from various sources suggest they could be the most dangerous of the three. Question, why do they want me dead? Oh, here. Oh, man. Yeah, you're, you're a weird little dude. Okay. Any money around here? Mm-hmm. Well, just some lettuce, okay. But yeah, guys, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and leave this weird little episode here. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.